Season changing, it's time to adjust your skincare routine for fall. Cooler temperatures and dry air are just a few factors that can affect your skin. Joining us with some great tips, Karen Malcolm Pie this morning. Thanks so much for coming oh, in. Oh, you're welcome. It is that transitional period, and it we is. are getting into the point where it's really dry, and that can take a toll on your skin. Yeah, it, it actually started in September this year. I started seeing my client skin changing early this mm -hmm. year. Um, and there's just some basic uh, new products or just new other products that you can add into your already current routine. Um, and just again to be mindful about how our skin is changing going into fall and the right. winter months. Calgary is very dry and very, yes. we feel that dehydrated feeling in our skin. So where I just wanted to start was with a day cream. Now, okay. uh, in the summer, we typically can go with just a nice soft lotion. Uh, the Lorac is nice. This is uh, a great skincare line that you can get uh, at Shoppers Drug Mart Beauty Boutique. And what I brought in was a, the serum and also the Oxygenate, Oxygenate, Oxygenate oxygenating, I always have trouble Easy saying that say, word, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's the hydrating cream. Okay. And what is beautiful about this line, this is the hydro Hydrogenist, is this is going to provide a lot of moisture, calming on the skin, but beautiful beautiful for daytime. Okay. Now, if you're somebody who just likes something a little softer, they have the serum, then they have the heavier cream, so you can kind of play with it to see what you need for your skin. Some people still do like the serum. Um, in the winter, but on those days you need a bit more, you can also add the lotion as well. Okay. So think in, in terms of daytime, listen to what your skin is feeling like in the morning and add what you need before you start your makeup routine because this is really where your skin is starting for the day. Okay, for nighttime, perhaps yeah. something a little bit more intensive. For nighttime, it, you definitely, it's more intensive because your skin is healing as you're sleeping. So I brought two options. One is the Nerium. Now this is more for an aging skin. Okay. And I brought, I brought both the nighttime cream and their, uh, their eye cream. So this is particular for an aging skin. It's great because it's going to help with fine lines, it's going to help to uh, reduce the look of the pores. Uh, this is going to be great for those people who are looking for more of an aging um, issue solving type of, of night cream. Okay. But then we have philosophy. Now this is great because this is good for pretty much everyone. Okay. Again, we're seeing oxygenating. <laughs> I'm having trouble with that word today. <laughs> but this is the take a deep breath line. Now what's okay. great about this is it's good, it's calming, it's soothing, but it's really going to work at nighttime for you. I have both the, um, the, the cream and the eye cream. So again, just really focusing on nourishing your skin as you're sleeping. Another really great option. Okay. Uh, as we continue to move yes. along, these are items that you're saying these are great to try out. These are good additions okay. to your already what you're using. So once you have a base. Care. Yes. Okay. Now, one of my favorites. So this is the Rivaderm and this is the Tighten Up Pumpkin Mask. Now, what is great about this, I'm going to put a little bit on your back of your hand, is this you can use two, three times a week and this is going Ooh, to nice really exfoliant. help. Yes. Yeah, so if you feel it, yeah. the all of the medical ingredients are encapsulated. So if you smell it, That's it smells nice. like a pumpkin spice latte. Yes. And as you oh, break really it nice. down on your skin, this is going to help with hydration. Hydration. Uh, it's going to help with uh, reducing your pore size. It's going to again keep that moisture, but it's also going to exfoliate. Which is so nice. a really nice option because our skin needs to be exfoliated throughout the winter. So you can put this on for five minutes, ten minutes, fifteen minutes. Have a bath with it on your face, but really work those capsules down, and that's where you're getting the active ingredients on your skin. It, it is so, so nice. beautiful. I love, <laughs> love, love this, and it's great for all skin types. Okay. And More then masks. we then we have these are a little bit different. These are the the actual masks that you put onto your like skin. Like a fabric almost. Yes, it's yes. like a fabric. So we have the four beloved one and this is the hyaluronic acid. So this okay. one is going to help with hydration as well, locking the hydration, making your skin feel really soft and supple. And then we have the Laneige. Now this one is a little bit more of, it's called the water bank. So this is a gel mask that's oh. going to boost that hydration in your skin, leave your skin just feeling super, super soft. These I recommend doing at nighttime okay. as well. These are kind of like fun little additives that you can use just to, if your skin's feeling really parched or dehydrated, okay. have some fun with your mask because these really help. Finally. Yes always want to cleanse your skin, specifically at the end of the day. Okay. Now, what I'm looking at the cleansers is the Bioderma. We have, I brought two and we have the Hydro Bio and the Sensi Bio. These are both hypoallergenic, paraben free, very gentle on your skin. It's going to take all your makeup off. You really want to make sure you're cleansing your skin at the end of the night. 
and by using something that's going to just leave your skin not feeling tight and again that parched feeling yes this is going to be really calming in terms of taking that makeup off calming your skin making it feeling really soft and supple and then another option for just more cleansing your skin and this is a beautiful one this is the Kate Somerville He's and it's here. yeah that's the goat milk cleanser so this one is a little bit more the texture is more milky so you're gonna get when you're cleansing your skin you're gonna get the feeling of almost that that heavier milky cleansing okay. feeling so they're both a little bit different um, I, I kind of like to show options to all my clients because there's so many products on the market there's not an end-all be-all one line one product that works keep in mind always test the products you can do patch tests on your on your face on your neckline um, but really listen to what your skin needs because over the next few months you're going to be we're going to be noticing a, yes. a big change in our skin and so all these steps especially by adding some special new steps or maybe supplementing a little bit of a heavier lotion from what you were doing in the summer is going to be really helpful uh, and again, this is, you start from your daytime in the morning, so how your skin's gonna react throughout the day, to what you're gonna do at nighttime. So when you go to bed, you prepare your skin for the next day. Great stuff. As yeah. always, love having you on, Karen. Thank you Thanks for so much for coming in. Thank you. In. And if you'd like more from Karen, you can head to karenmalcolm.ca.